That's right, Keenan, and it is a top priority for the city's health department. They will have people out here keeping an eye on things, and if necessary, they are prepared to hand out tickets. Now, earlier this week, uh, Detroit Mayor Mike Duggan said, if you are not one of those lucky 8200 Tigers fans with tickets inside the ballpark, do not expect to be hanging out outside the ballpark and tailgating. But there is a flip side to this for area businesses like Game Day Detroit, just around the corner from the ballpark, which opened for the very first time this season last Friday. The worst thing you could have said. Kurt Caravino needs people downtown today. Opening day is a huge chance for sales of Tigers merch, a chance he didn't get in 2020 due to COVID. It's like we all know the rules. We're all going to follow the rules. So don't discourage people from coming downtown. It's it definitely affects our business. Comerica Park will seat just 8,200 fans today, 20% of its capacity. The city's chief public health officer, Denise Fair, says her team will be on the lookout for fans without tickets who decide to tailgate, something the city has warned against in light of this recent COVID spike. We have to have a special permit in order to tailgate. And the reason why we're not going to have tailgating is because, number one, our numbers are spiking, but it's really difficult to practice social distancing. Uh, when you're tailgating. Just yesterday, Michigan reporting more than 6,300 new cases. Cases surging by more than 163% during the month of March. Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, also warning that being outside doesn't make opening day risk-free. The risk of transmission is lower when you're outside, but it's not zero. So you, you can still spread it to other people if you're close to them. So still mask up, still social distance. You don't want this to become from an exciting day to a super spreader day. Fair says the health department will be writing tickets to tailgating and capacity violators. She too is urging people without a ticket to the game to watch from home. So we're going to be out in the bars and restaurants making sure that the owners are adhering to the 50% capacity. I hope we don't have to shut down anyone at all, but if we have to, we certainly will. Now, Dr. Nandy pointing out the COVID numbers over the next three weeks will be key in determining whether today was good or bad for the city of Detroit in its battle against COVID-19. Now, as you'll notice, I really thought I could hang up this winter coat for the season, but of course I have it on today. It's a chilly one, and that could actually play in the city's favor in keeping people away from downtown, but obviously that's something area businesses are hoping not to see. Still ahead coming up at 5.30, what fans, both with tickets and without tickets should expect today here at Comerica Park and hear from one Metro Detroit super fan family the difficult decision they made today to not attend opening day. Reporting live outside Comerica Park downtown, Jen Shantz, 7 Action News.